Hey there, YouTube. Jonathan here. That's a bit wonky. Let's come down here. So it's Sunday morning. I thought I'd let you in on what I do Sunday mornings is usually head out here to the studio and then try and work out what I'm doing for you guys each week. And I'm having a bit of creative block at the moment. So I am not sure where I'm going. And I thought I'd maybe tune into you guys show you what I've got and see what you think. So I've got a couple of pieces of furniture each side of me that I've been waiting for a refinish and I could do with a little bit of inspiration maybe from you guys. So I've been playing around with colour this morning. Um, sometimes if I get my hands into some colour and some paint mixing that usually helps. I've also had some, some books that I've been looking through and that's not helping. <laughs> so I am stuck, creative block. And I think it's just to do with how, I'm gonna move this so I can see your comments. There we go. I think it's just to do with, good morning from sunny Florida, good morning. Um, yeah, I think it's just because I've painted so much. Um, the way that I paint is usually governed, not unless I'm painting for myself, it's usually governed by what is interesting to you guys. So yeah, creative block, even I get that. So I'm gonna show you a couple of pieces that I've got. I'll take you out of this. Um, one of the pieces is just over there, this gorgeous, kind of Moroccan style table. Good morning, young man, having coffee. Ah, so, me too. I'll join you. So yeah, I've got this lovely Moroccan style table, which was my mum's, and she did say to me, don't paint that. <laughs> um, and she liked it as it was, but it's it keeps on moving around my house and I can't place it. And there's a space in one of the rooms where I would use it. Just need to take a break and walk away. Uh, yeah, I do. I think I need to break ab abroad somewhere on a beach. <laughs> um, so yeah, this little table, she said, don't paint it, but it just keeps on floating around the house and I don't want to get rid of it, but I want to make it fit somewhere in the house with colour. So, um, um, I cannot uh, count you. Uh, oh, thank you, inspiring us. Thank you. Um, so I've got that. Um, I'm gonna show you the other piece that I've got, which is really lovely. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, hang on. Move that out of the way. And I've got this, can we see it? I can't see the camera. So this little piece, which is absolutely adorable. Um, it is old. It is mahogany veneer. It, from the back you can see it, it's like a cheap pine, but it is mahogany veneer, but it is older than the usual pieces that I work on. I'll show you this piece. This is the type of furniture that I work on, which is mahogany veneer, which is much, um, much newer and I, I don't mind painting on that because ultimately that is the kind of furniture that we get lots of in the UK. So that is for a, a very special project when I get my act together and that is going in the house. So I've got an idea for that, but I need to buy something really special for that and it's gonna take a few weeks before I get to that. But this piece, really lovely, but it's not without it's not without its faults. Look, it's been stored outside. This is the varnish coming off. Um, I think this is a marriage. I think this has been added on later. It seems a bit raw and chunky. When I purchased this, an antique dealer came to look at it and, and the antique dealer basically said, the only thing he would want this for is the handles, which are rather beautiful. I think they're ebony. Um, which, of course, I won't change anything of them. They unscrew, 
So I will keep that. But I have no idea. And I would like to keep this piece for us. There are a few um, issues, like the trim snapped off in a few places, whole bit missing just down here and here, which um, I could paint it and make it look sort of rough around those edges. But I'll probably fix it, do a fix on those and then paint it. But I'm not sure what to do with this piece. I feel, I think the creative block for this piece for me is because I know it's a slightly better piece of furniture and I don't wish to spoil it. Is that, is that something? I don't know. Um, and this piece, you can see, mum has had this for years. It had plants stood on it, which I intend to put a plant back on it. Um, that could be issues to me because that could bleed through because they're watermarks. So that could be an issue. Um, what I think for this piece, what I'm really thinking to make it work for the room that I would like to use it in is <clears throat> white, which is really strange. Um, all over white and then in the little openings on that little lip, on the lip, put a band of a different colour, maybe even on the inside, a completely different colour. So, a bit like a Le Bouton shoe. Red on the inside, white on the outside. This sounds really gross. And then green on the trim. And then a different green that trails the whole pattern on the outside. That's what I'm thinking. Kind of really Mor Moroccan in its style. So it kind of envelops different colours. And then really roughed back. So really worn and roughed back. Um... So that's what I'm thinking. So that's why I've had some colours out. I've been looking at reds, reds and purples, which I think for the inside, I've been mixing colours up on my table, which I really quite like this red, which I've mixed, which is um, Empress Silk with Amsterdam Green and a touch of Burgundy. And I thought that might be a really rich, deep red on the inside. So when you look through the legs, you can just see that red then maybe a lighter green on the trim and then another green over, trailing the edge around these patterns onto the white. That's what I was thinking. I don't know what you guys think, whether that's a good idea or not. Um, having said that, not much um, technique involved for you guys when you watch. Um, you never spoil a piece of furniture. Thank you. Um, smaller piece, I see. It's a, as bright, sorry. My reading's terrible, you know that. Um, I get creative block when I have too many pieces to work on. I, maybe that's the thing, because I've got a chest of drawers, this lovely side table, that the piece over there, which is um, definitely gonna be for the house. Um, and I've got really something really clever to do with that which I think is quite clever. Um, the vision sounds cool. Can't wait to see. Your work is always inspiring. Hmm, I don't know. I just, that's probably my worry. I'm just looking it over my shoulder. My worry is that it, there's not enough in it. So for you guys to watch, it's just painting and distressing. Oh, what was that? Um, so I'm probably gonna sit here another hour or so pondering on what I'm going to do. I'm not sure. Um, you can tell, can't you, that I'm confused with which way to go. Um, like that little piece, just checking. You never, no, read all of them. So, yes, answers on a postcard. But I do, I haven't used red in such a long time and it's, it's a bit of a feisty colour. The room that this is gonna go in this little table, which I'm thinking is quite, uh, it's a small room and the blinds look very Moroccan and they've got lots of earthy tones and burgundy in there. I don't want the whole outside to be burgundy. I think it'd be a bit too strong for me. So I was thinking just a slight off white on the outside, green trims and red. Love the idea of red underneath. Yeah, I think that just little hint of red showing through the legs will be enough. It'll kind of, and 
green and red are complementary colours. I don't want it to look Christmassy, if you know what I mean. Uh, remember, it's just paint. <laughs> yeah, I need, I need to practice what I preach, don't I? It's just paint. You can paint over it if it's not right. Um, but with this piece, it's kind of quite woody and textural, and I want to try and wear, it, wear the paint off so it looks like it's only had one coat and worn away, if you know what I mean. Um, I kind of think that would be quite nice of a look rather than um, a solid coat. Hmm. If you're not, please when change it. Yeah, you're right, change it up. I can change it up at any point. I know that, I've got the paint. Hmm. Right, it was just a little check-in, just to, um, hello in Cape Town. Oh, I'd love to go back to Cape Town, I love it there. Um, I'm gonna tune out, the kids have come into the garden next door, so they're gonna start playing, so um, you'll hear them. So I'm gonna say, a short goodbye. Anyone that watches this on replay, just, I might have started, but answers on a postcard, let's see where it goes. I have no idea. I think it's this piece that I'm gonna work on. Um, and it's always the small ones that end up taking me more time. I don't know why. This one here, this one is gonna, I, again, I would like to keep it, but, Something in me tells me, again, something really flat painted finish, just something very simple and not too much fuss. No decoupage, no, maybe paint inlays, maybe. I'm not sure. We will think about that for another week. Anyway, I'm gonna go, much love. I will catch you all very soon. Hopefully I'll be with you on Wednesday um, with that maybe. Um, it may be a simple makeover on camera and I'll be there. Uh, I do feel a struggle through because we all feel the same way at some point. Yeah, good luck, Jonathan. Thank you. I just think I get it as well because I'm painting so much um, and I have so many techniques in my armory that I've used over the years and I... I think I'm governed by what I think you might like to see sometimes instead of just doing what I think is lovely for the piece. Um, and I always try and retrofit everything. So it, it's a great technique, but it also looks great on the piece, if that makes sense. So I don't want to, I just don't want to kill the piece with lots and lots of uh, uh, technique over the, the piece and then kill it with too much. Um, where do you, where, where do I send you a picture of my ID? Oh, that's nice. I like that. Send it to me on Instagram because that's the one I tend to look at more often. So same handle, Jonathan Matt Mendes painted love. Um, it's actually Jonathan Matt Mendes underscore painted love. Um, and then you can send me a picture because I would love for some ideas. That would be great. I might carry on mixing some reds up. Whatever you do will be beautiful, thank you. Right, I'm going because I'm keeping you, um, I'm, I'm just rambling on again. You know, I do that a lot, don't, don't I? So I'm going to have another little half an hour, another cup of tea, half an hour thinking. I'm gonna check out that picture if it gets sent through to me. Um, it, it, it might just give me a bit of inspiration for that. I kind of like, those tulipy shapes, that's why I'm thinking the red on the inside. Red with a little green trim around it, hand painted maybe, and then really roughed back. Hmm. We'll see. Right, I will see you all soon, hopefully on Wednesday night for the premiere of this. Anyway, much love, take care.